In today's video, man, I wanna have a honest dialogue or conversation with people that are proudly single. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today, I'm back at it in those trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today, I'm gonna talk about a topic that does not get talked about enough, but is very conducive to shaping what dating and relationship culture looks like for the next generation. Just thinking for the future, just thinking in a manner to be prudent. Oftentimes, people that are proudly single and arrogant in being single make the mistake of choosing to be single, you know, and living out things that they haven't experienced through other people's stories. For instance, man, if you follow any of this uh, feminine, career oriented type women first, you know, type content or this MGTOW type content, what would happen is you'll have all these men, some of them who've never been in a uh, committed relationship, but are allowing the negativity that comes from other people's story to shape how they live their life. And there's consequences to that. Before I go any further, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. Man, I've got exclusive discount codes for Optics Planet, BulkSupplements.com, and Bodybuilding.com, year-round discount codes that can help save you some money. Man, as a man that fears the most high Yah, keeps the commandments, and is happily married, you know, Oftentimes, you might see a lot of content that's anti-marriage, anti-relationship. Even some of the content that I've made might seem, you know, somewhat abrasive to somebody that's not used to receiving the truth. But I'm here to tell you that, man, you are witnessing a lot of women that are acknowledging in their later years of life that they wish they could have done something different. All of this, I'm independent, I don't need no man. A lot of these women in their later years, even though they've had much success in career, are now coming out saying, you know, I wish I could do it differently because I would have prioritized a relationship over putting career first because when significant things happen in my house, you know, I look at the women who have a family, who have prioritized family, their head, their covering, and they always have stability in times of chaos that they don't have because it's just them. It's just them themselves and their own agenda. And they don't have anybody to bounce off of as far as a support system, as far as being resilient in their they're letting a lot of women know, hey, you might want to think twice. When things happen, cars break down, when you're experiencing crime, uh, when you're experiencing unforeseen situations like violence and different things break and different things happen in life, just the tribulations of life. You know, these women are saying, man, my life would be so much better if I had somebody there that was my support system. And my message is, Spending your time being single is not going to have the return on investment that you think. You know, you have people that are choosing to be independent and single. I don't want no woman. I don't want no man. Based upon negative stories that you've heard other people experience, rather than extracting the wisdom and the lessons that they have in moving 
forward according to wisdom, you know, now you are a man, you know, a middle-aged man, a middle-aged woman or an older woman. And you're sitting up here looking at older couples your age that have invested time in their relationship, invested, you know, uh, in shape, an environment, and a and a and a and a, in a culture for a productive relationship to thrive. Man, I want you to understand this. Man, to have a forgiving spirit is to acknowledge that no one's perfect. Think about this. To have a forgiving spirit is to acknowledge that nobody's perfect. That's including yourself. And the Most High Yah shows us what a forgiving spirit looks like despite all of our foolishness. Man, I tell you, man, if you have somebody out there as a man or a woman, you know, women out there, if you got a man that prioritizes family, you know, and wants something serious, but yet you've been saying, yeah, no, I'm focused on this, I'm focused on my success, man, it's not gonna be too long for you realize, man, when I'm going to the doctor's office to go get my tooth pulled or I'm doing X, Y, and Z and all of your friend girls are now married, now you gotta sit back and think like, man, what would life have been like if I were taking advantage of certain opportunities and had that support system? As a man, man, you can go through life according to the MGTOW community. They say and have a rotation, sleep with all these women, but you're gonna end up you know, possibly with kids, you know, out of wedlock that you don't get to spend a whole bunch of time with because of, you know, maybe distance, maybe uh, custody and stuff like that. When you could have just said, you know what? I'm gonna look at other people's experience. I'm not gonna allow the, the, the negative and doubtful spirits to come upon me as a man or a woman, but I will take the lessons learned and proceed you know, proceed accordingly, according to knowledge of the wisdom of the Most High Yah. Not too many people are doing that. This generation, we see men and women that are against one another. And if everybody goes off to their own cubbyhole, man, we ain't gonna see too many more generations of certain, of certain uh, groups and cultures of people. We ain't gonna see too many we're not gonna see too many generations. Nobody's gonna wanna work together. Nobody is gonna wanna have true patience, you know, long suffering, forgiveness, kindness. Man, I would caution you into investing into being prideful and single when you can take that same energy and over a course of time, this is not no one, two year type thing when you see the old people that's been together for, for 50 years. Yeah, they've been through something, but everybody goes through something. Nobody's exempt from going through something, you know? But if you truly, truly are as forgiving, kind, loving, you know, y'all fearing as you thought, you might not want to invest in being single. Just vet people properly, test the spirit in them, and then create boundaries. But just saying, oh man, I'm good on that. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm good on that one. Because I see the writing on the wall. You know, as a man, one day, man, this body could take a toll. Right now, man, this body is, is doing what I need it to do. But one day, that may not be the case. And you gotta think, if I've been properly taking care of my wife, you know, she'll take care of me. That's an investment I'm willing to make versus somebody that's not willing to make it. Same thing, women out here. You don't know what you could, you, same thing, women out here. You don't know what life has in store for you. But if you invest time in reverencing and honor your man, you know, if something does happen, you know this man's got you because you've invested in it. There is no return on investment 
in a relationship if you've only invested your time in being single. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Both of the y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun, girl, straight.